So 2018 World Cup has returned to Group B and in this episode we're going to look ahead to the Iran Spanning game. That's right folks, back once again with another match preview this time looking ahead to the Group B match between current table toppers Iran and former winners Spain. We'll talk about that match in just one second but if you are new to the channel Hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. That's right. I am uh, hopefully we get some fan opinion about this match as we edge closer to kickoff. But anyway, let's waste no more time and jump straight in with the thicker things and, and take a look at this match in some more detail. Now the match will take place at the Kazan Arena out in Kazan and it will take place on the 20th of June. Uh, Iran currently managed by former Real Madrid manager Carlos Quiros. Uh, he secured Iran's berth at the World Cup by winning uh, Group A of the third round of the AFC. Uh, and they did that way back on the 12th of June 2017. And this is their fifth appearance for the country at the world stage. Uh, the last appearance was in uh, Brazil 2014, but they've yet to get out the group stage. And right now you can get odds on Iran winning the whole stinking thing at 500 to 1. As for their opposition, Spain, they're currently now managed by Fernando Herrero, so that's changed. Um, uh, they secured their qualification by winning Group G of the European campaign, and that was done 6th of October 2017. This is their 15th appearance at the World Cup uh, uh, overall, the last being in Brazil 2014, the best ever performance. We've mentioned it already. 2010 winners, and you can currently get odds on, where, on Spain winning the whole thing 11 to 2. Oh, yes, and these two sides have yet, yet to meet in international football. Now, so let's take a look at the remaining fixtures for these two nations. Uh, Iran opened up their campaign with a win against Morocco. That was back on the 15th of June. Uh, they're right here right now preparing for the Spanish game. Uh, and then they'll wrap it up with a match against Portugal at the Mordovia Arena out in Saranesk. And that will be on the 25th of June. As for Spain, they opened up their campaign with a 3-3 draw against their mega rivals. You could call them uh, Portugal 3-3. What a, what a thriller that was. Um, obviously, now Iran is in their sights. And then they'll wrap it up with a match against Morocco in the Kaliningrad Stadium out in Kaliningrad. And that will also take place on the 25th of June. And the current state of play in the table is Iran lead the, lead the pile three points. Portugal. Spain kind of joint second with one point in Morocco uh, currently occupying in fourth but not out of it just yet um, as for my initial thoughts on this game it's a monstrous monstrous game for both uh, countries Iran obviously wind pushing them right now pushing them forward morale is going to be high and uh, the, I'm, I would not I would again it looks on paper you would think Spain going to walk this but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's going to be that easy. I think Iran could be a stubborn, stubborn team. And I think if they grind out a draw, uh, they will be over the moon with this. They would be definitely in control of this, of this group with, uh, with one match to play. But Spain do have the, the creative nous to rip up on any team at this World Cup. The, the change of manager, has it, has it hurt, them, hurt them hard? Well, I don't think I can answer that. But hopefully we get some fan reaction on the managerial change and more. So you want to know what I've got to say about the match now. What does the fans think? I've got Mr. Iran right here right now, live on Skype, to talk about the previous match and the match looking ahead. But first and foremost, uh, you know, let's just say, let's just say uh, in an ideal, not an ideal world, but let's just say I had to go to Iran for one day. Uh, where should I go and why? Hi, everyone. Uh, if I had to choose somewhere you'd go in Iran, I would choose the city of Shiraz, which many of you know as a type of wine, but it's actually uh, a very beautiful city, lots of attractions, a cultural hub, and obviously the food is amazing as well, so worth a visit. Well, speaking of food, we'll talk about food the next time you come around for your, your third match, but anyway, let's go back to uh, the first match. What a fantastic win that was for Iran over Morocco. How are you and uh, the folks back in Iran uh, coping with that result? Oh, we're absolutely elated. So it's the first win in 20 years. And what I think a lot of people don't understand is that with that win, it's with, Ira with, Ira with the Iranian population, we've been consistently bashed on the head, whether it's through politics, whether it's through the media. So that win is more than just the win. It brought smiles to over 80 million people Everyone was in the streets, not just in Iran, not in every city in Iran, but every city in the world that Iranians live. So it was absolutely fantastic. Um, the spirits are absolutely high and couldn't have asked for something better. 
Well, obviously, so just in case people are unaware, they did pick up a victory up against Morocco last minute dot com uh, winner. Uh, now, in your next game, big one up against Spain, but currently around top of the table, three points. Take a picture, uh, you know, because it's going to get it's going to get nitty gritty now. But uh, what would you change for this next match up against Spain? Having watched the, the Spain versus Portugal match, I don't know how we're going to cope. They play absolutely beautiful football. Um, I think, you know, we weren't, I don't know if it was the nerves or something, but on the counters, we're quite a defensive team, but on the counters, we looked a bit sloppy. Um, our captain, Shujai, he didn't have a very good match. Um, so I think if there was something to change, it would be Shujai and bring in, and what we, what we are going to change is the fact that one of our players has, um, has a yellow card. So I had a yellow card for the previous match, so he wasn't able to play. He'll be coming on and he'll be performing, hopefully, and uh, our, the core of our team will be back back to its normal base. All right. OK, so obviously elated, over the moon with the result. Is there anything you did not like about your performance against Morocco? There was one player that, you know, he had to step up on the big stage and he failed to do so. I'm quite disappointed in, in the way he played. I hope it's just the nerves and it's something that he'll overcome. That Sardar Azmoun, number 20, playing uh, up top. Um, he had quite a few chances and quite a few misplaced balls, which I hope is just the nerves and he'll just grow into the matches as they come. Okay, so obviously in the last, in the last time we had a chance to talk to you, you gave a nice motivational boost to the boys. Obviously, massive game now up against Spain. Anything you'd like to say to them if they're watching this right here, right now? What I would say is that football is a match, 11 versus 11. Anything can happen, as we saw yesterday. Um, come on, Team Melly, let's go. Awesome. Now, obviously, two games in the Group B, uh, coming right around, obviously, yourselves against Spain. Score prediction right there. So, uh, Spain, uh, sorry, Portugal, Morocco. Right. Um, I wouldn't write Morocco off. I think they were a fantastic team. I think, you know, in football, sometimes you're just unlucky. Uh, I wouldn't write them off at all. They look very threatening. They just need to be a bit more clinical. Portugal themselves are not exactly pristine. They were a bit shaky as well. So I predict a 1-1 uh, one, one for one, Portugal. One. Ooh, that will be, uh, that's good. I guess that's good for you guys. What about you? oh, your flags falling off? But anyway, we'll get oh, no. you. What do you think is going to happen between yourselves and when you take on Spain? Final score. Right, uh, I would hope that we score at least one goal, but given Kairos's style of play, I think it's going to be a comfortable win for Spain no. with a 3-1 victory. You're being honest. You're being, yeah, okay, you're speaking from the brain, I think. So, okay, well, we'll see how that all pans out. Anyway, um, hopefully we get some more reaction from you. That was beautiful last time. So hopefully we'll get to see you again. I think the game is taking place, when is it? Monday, or uh, it is taking place at the 20th of June. And the game will be at the Kazan Arena out in Kazan. But anyway, so we'll let you go for now. Cheers. Anyway, you've heard a bit of what I have to say about the match. Now what you really want to hear is what the supporters have to say. And I've got my Spanish correspondent joining me right here on Skype. Now, before we get on to the topic of football, uh, let's talk about, let's say if I had to, had to go to Spain for one day and one day only, where should I go? Uh, I mean, the biggest places, the first places to come to mind are either Barcelona and Madrid. Personally, uh, I would go to Barcelona. There's a lot to see there. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of attractions. Uh, definitely go check out Barcelona if you're going to Spain. All right. So put that on your uh, bucket list, people. Okay. Now let's talk about the result a little bit. 3-3 draw against Portugal. Not the greatest. It was a, it was a classic football game of football, back and forth, especially for the neutral. But how is a person like yourself from Spain dealing with that result? Uh, it was a little tough. I mean, we, it started off, I was really, really worried. I mean, we got the PK. Sometimes Spain has very low scoring games. We win a lot of games, 0-0, zero, zero, or I mean, 1-0. There's, there's a lot of ties, a lot of 1-1s. One, um, so I didn't think we'd bounce back from that. Um, I think that we're expected to do well in this tournament. We're one of the favorites. So, I mean, deep down inside, I, I thought that we'd, we'd beat Portugal. Uh, we'd beat them before. Um, but history does say they're our biggest rivals. They've beaten us more than any other international team. Um, so, uh, yeah, just a little upset. I think, I think we could have won that game. Uh, I think our mistakes cost us that game. Okay. So going into your next game up against Iran, what would you change from the, the performance, uh, that, yeah, that we saw against Portugal? What would you, what would you do differently? Uh, I mean, I still, De Gea didn't have a great game, but he is our starting goalie. You got to put him back in there, give him another shot. He's, he's got to keep starting. 
Um, at right back, naturally, I would pick Danny Carvajal from Real Madrid. Um, but Nacho from Real Madrid filled in perfectly. He did a great job, um, and he got the he got the banger in the end. He got the third goal, so I was really happy with that. Um, I think in midfield we didn't have a lot of creativity. I'd keep Iniesta in there, although he had a bad first game. He's kind of quiet. Uh, didn't really didn't really put a lot of effort into the game, or didn't really show up at all. But uh, I would put in Thiago. Thiago came in the second half. I would start Thiago over Coke every time. Um, the wingers and and Diego Costa were fine. I'd keep them up front. I was pretty happy with that setup. Okay, so I think you touched on a couple of bits there, but so fundamentally, what was what was the most pleasing aspect of the result for yourself? Oh, that we just we stayed true to our identity. I mean, we were high pressing, high passing. Uh, you know, we played our, our kind of a version of our team taka, and we held on uh, big possession. I think we got close to 65, 65 close to seventy percent uh, possession of the game. So that was good. That is our identity to hold on to the ball, um, press hard, press high. Uh, we were able to do that. I think against Iran and Morocco, we'll be able to do that uh, uh, much easier. Okay, all right. So we're going to bring it right right back to where we ended it last time. So uh, obviously you're up against Iran. Score prediction, Spain versus Iran. Uh, Iran, uh, uh, Iran I, I don't want to be uh, too insulting, but I, I'll give Spain definitely uh, – benefit of the doubt here. I'm going to give them a 3-0 against Iran. 3-0. Obviously, one more other game in that group at the same time. Portugal against Morocco. What's the score there going to be? Portugal's a great team. If Ronaldo shows up, even if he doesn't show up, uh, Portugal's going to take that. Uh, I'll say Portugal... Uh, 3-1. Portugal 3-1. Okay. Obviously, we can tell that you're very busy. I wish I was there because it looks glorious. But anyway, we'll leave it to it. And we'll speak again very, very soon. Enjoy your little uh, whatever's going on this weekend. And uh, enjoy the non-football. All right, Derek. Take care. Speak nice to talk. you later. Ciao, Rio. Right. Maybe a little bit what the fans have had to say. But you really, what you really want to know is what Casta Cat thinks will happen between Iran and Spain. So you've heard what the fans have had to say, you've heard what the cats had to say. Now what do I think is going to happen in this massive Group B match? Let's take a little look. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you back up to date with all things World Cup related. I am also on Twitter and Facebook. Details in the, in the old comments section below. A huge Group B game coming up right here. Iran versus Spain. And it could go either way, if I'm honest. Um, but I think Spain are going to have enough creative now to get over the line and get three points. I don't think it's going to be comfortable. I don't think it's going to be like a three or four. I think it might be a shady one nil win for Spain. But, you know, if, if, if Iran could grind out a draw, then they're going to be elated. And that will give them four points and a massive opportunity to get themselves into the second round. But... Hey, a lot of football still to be played in Group B and the World Cup as a whole. And you can catch all the match previews and all the match reviews right here at Blackburn Rovers Season. Also, let me hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and I'll try and get back to you. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm actually looking forward to this set of matches because at the end of it, I think we'll have a good, strong indication as who's going to go through to the knockout phases with one game to spare. And right now, as it stands... They've all got a chance. They've all got a chance. Even Morocco has the chance. I know they're going to be very, very deflated after that defeat against Iran. And on the flip side, Iran are going to be buzzing like no man's business because they, they've, got the, they've got the wind beneath them and maybe it can push them forward. But two massive uh, juggernauts stand in the way of both Morocco and Iran, and that is in the shapes of Portugal and Spain. So check back and let's have a little look at how those matches pan out. Anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. 
Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there. It'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comments section below. And I will see you all very, very soon.